Greetings and salutations, this is Domingo Martinez. Let me go ahead and show you how to control an output device such as an LED with your force sensor. So the first thing we need to do is create a variable for our force sensor. I'll just go ahead and call it force. So I'm going to use block, block blaze programming here. And you can see that our force sensor is connected to our analog pin A0. So that's an input pin. So let's go ahead and set it to read our analog input A0. Uh, once that is set, then we can go ahead and print the force variable to determine how much force is being applied to our sensor. So let me go ahead and start simulation. And I can increase the amount of force applied to the sensor. So I'm pushing down on that sensor, right? And based on the amount of force being applied with my thumb, um, I, can I can use that information to light up my LED. So let me go ahead and do that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to scale my values so that way they do not exceed 255. So you can see over here that we already have 791. Um, we need to make sure that our force sensor does not exceed 255 because that's the max that can be applied to our LED. So our LED is located at the pulse width modulation pin 6. So we're going to use this block here and we're going to select 6 and we're going to input it there. So if I start my simulation and I press down on the force sensor, the harder I'm pressing, the more brightness will be applied to my LED. And so if I decrease the amount of force, I'm letting loose on the sensor and once I let go of the sensor, you'll see that the LED will turn off. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks.